It's magical, enchanting, whimsical, and joyful. A mural celebrating Garvin Woodland Gardens on a building opposite Bathhouse Row. The name of the artist, there in the corner, even adds more to the mystery. Pepe Gacca, a visiting artist from Italy. This mural of 2018, totally different from the one he produced in 2017 right down the street. Twin Native Americans, the first visitors to Hot Springs, so real the authenticity leaps off the wall. A local artist and full-time barber watched him paint this, a man who this year would become a collaborator, Anthony Tidwell. We're from two totally different worlds, but the art, man, is that, that language is uh, uniform. Anthony has achieved local notoriety for this studio in inner city hot springs that he opens to kids in the summer. His work earned him a Governor's Art Award. Back in Italy, Pepe had a similar program with an orphanage. The same things that pushes him is the same things that pushes me. And the Hot Springs Cultural Alliance put them together to produce a mural honoring African Americans in Hot Springs. Ideas then flowed a half a world away. He's in Italy. He'll send me a message 3 o'clock in the morning. I sent him a message back 3 o'clock in the morning on his time. Pepe returned to Hot Springs in the spring, and in May, this is what they produced. A tribute to Black Broadway, Malvern Avenue, near an area where Count Basie and Duke Ellington once played. Bud Kennedy has a trolley hat on on the end. And the figures you see are actual people living in Hot Springs. The musicians, members of Hot Springs' world-class high school band. 30, 40 years from now, they can come back and show their kids or their grandkids. Anthony, at Pepe's insistence, added a surprise. It was me, so <laughs> I ended up painting myself. That's Anthony holding the paintbrushes. As he worked on the mural, something magical happened. It started talking to me, and I, I know it sounds crazy, but man, it, it told me that I was an artist. And it told me, quit lying to myself, being somebody you're not. I'll go ahead and, and accept your calling and be the artist, the true artist that you are. Anthony went and told his boss he was going to become a full-time artist and he was going to quit the barber shop. <laughs> he didn't like what I had to say. He was kind of upset because he's losing a barber. Now to keep the peace, Anthony put his boss on the mural in the parade. That you'll notice leads to a brighter future. But it also celebrates Hot Springs past. Black Broadway, a place that matters. An exuberant celebration of Hot Springs culture courtesy of Pepe and Anthony. No racial divide here. How could there be with art? I think visual art, murals on a wall, it brings back to humanity in us.